Well, hello, stampers. It's the Pampered Stamper, and I know that the um, the little clock on there probably says it said it still had three minutes, but I always like to build myself in a little bit of a buffer zone, and just in case things go haywire, as they sometimes do, as you all well know. And it looks like the sound is working, so that is fantastic. It is 20 after 7 here in the Netherlands, which means it's 20 after 1 in Chatham, Ontario. And I am so happy to be here with you. Did you know that today is the last day to order out of the annual catalog? And I know that a lot of things are sold out, like the stitch shape framelits. Um, and I know that Purple Posy cardstock is sold out, but you know that I have not been checking the status, the inventory status report every day. I've been doing much more fun things here in Holland, and I'm so thankful that I can. Um, but I did check to make sure that the Looking Up card kit is still available. And honestly, as you're going to see, this is a fantastic kit and it's a great value. It's only $39 and I'm going to flip to a different screen. So this is the box and I'm just going to zoom out a little bit there because it's way too big. So I've taken the plastic off and that's all I've done. So you're going to get this box if you order it. And you take the lid off and keep the box because I think it'll be great to um, to save your cards in. So here is the stamp set. I'm so very thankful for you. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Feel better soon. I hear congratulations are in order. And there's a little star and there's these really cute little birds. And birds, those little birds will go well with so many different stamp sets. So we'll put that aside. And then there's a Bermuda Bay ink spot. Now, I just happen to have a Bermuda Bay ink spot open that I got in my last paper pumpkin. So I'm going to leave this one. And now the rest is all wrapped up in plastic. So I'm going to take it out. And here you can see the different cards. So they are fantastic. There's a city scene. There's a really cool vintage airplane. There's a tropical scene. There's hot air balloons. And then there's a graphic scene with raindrops. You know, feel better soon. So let's open this up. I have my scissors. I'm relatively well prepared. Slightly shocking. Um, for supper tonight, uh, we had gone to the, um, the market on Friday and bought fish. And for once, Gerard had bigger eyes than I did. And he ordered all kinds of stuff. And we were munching on fish on the way home already. We had little um, shrimp that were deep fried with sauce. And we had what's called kibbling, which is like chicken nuggets except with fish. So yummy. But what happened is that by the time we got home and it was supper time to eat our regular fish, we weren't hungry. So I said, no worries. We put the fish in the fridge and I made fish tacos with it tonight. So they were delicious. Okay, so we'll get rid of the plastic. And then let's take a look at all the goodies in here. You've got a really nice clear block. It's not one of those thin ones. It's a nice thick block, a nice big one. There are two sheets of dimensionals, big size dimensionals. I use those all the time. And then Look at the envelopes. The envelopes coordinate with the different cards. So this is the one with the airplane, and then look the other side, they're lined with black. Isn't that nice? So they're really cool envelopes. So there's three of every style. Let's see, flip those over, and they're really nice. See, so those are, they have a palm tree, and these ones have, I don't even know which one that goes with, probably, I don't know, we'll see. I think that's the cityscape one, yes. And so there's 15 cards in here, so that's pretty cool. There's the hot air balloon one, and then here is the get well one with the raindrops. Okay, so we'll put the envelopes out of the way. So that's really nice to get special envelopes, more value. And then we've got the cards, and the cards are a nice weight. Sometimes, I have to admit, sometimes Stampin' Up! has kits where the cards aren't as thick as I would like them to be. And if that happens, believe you me, I will give you a shout out. I never want you to buy anything that I don't stand behind 100%, okay? So these are really nice, good quality cards. And you could even, if you wanted to, you could cut them in half. Not, I don't know why you would want to, but you could cut them in half to use this Bermuda Bay because you're thinking, you might be thinking like I am, well, why would you have that beautiful Bermuda Bay on the back? What a waste. Okay, so we have those. And again, three of each, so I'm just going to show you them all. Here is the tropical one. And then we have the airplane one. Now look at the, the, the graphics on that. See how nice it is? They're kind of artsy um, clouds. Just, yeah, I love these cards. Okay, let's keep going. 
and this is the cityscape one. So while I say that they are masculine cards, by no means are these cards meant only for men, okay? We, we need to get out of that sexist idea. I mean, who's to say that a man doesn't like cards with flowers, right? It's not necessarily true. And then here is the, the get well one, okay? Really nice. Subtle, nothing over the top, calm and soothing. So let's take a look at the instruction booklet, okay? So it's quite big. It shows you all the cards on the front. And then when you open it up, now, I'm not the hugest fan of this kind of thing, um, but the steps, so there's a one, two, and a three, and then here it says the steps. Stamp in Bermuda Bay ink is number one. Number two is adhere stickers. Number three is adhere using stamp and dimensionals. So it's not that complicated. Basically, you just kind of take a good look at the picture, and you'll know what to do. And there, it even comes in different languages. So it has a nice size picture of what the finished card should look like. And then on the back are the other two. So there's the feel better soon. And there's the I'm so very thankful for you. Now, you don't have to use the sayings that they suggest. You can put anything you want on there. So let's just move that aside. And then here are the die cuts. So what I suggest you do before you get started on your card is you can make little piles of all of them and put them, sort them according to the card. Now, you already know that I'm probably not going to do that. That's probably the smart thing to do, but yeah, I don't want to take the time. Yeah, so there's one, two, three sheets of these. So even if I just keep one out and then I'll put the other ones away, then I know that I can use this one sheet and that will do one of each card. Okay, so I'm putting the other stuff away. Then I remember there being lots of extra ones of these. These are stickers and they're kind of a, a champagne foil. And they're nice, heavy-duty stickers. So again, I'll take one of these out. And I'll put the other two away. And then we have these die cuts. And I'm not sure. These die cuts aren't super thick. Although, I think maybe I'm lying. Are there two sheets here or one? Well, I think it's only one. So I'm going to leave that like this because I think I'm going to want to use a Stamparatus. Okay? So... Let's get started, and I'm going to try not to, you know what, I just, I'm just going to click on my other computer to see if you so guys are talking to me. Oh, started. that's not a good idea. I'm going to try not to, you know what, I just, no, no, just, there, I, I closed that up because then I could hear myself twice, that's not good at all. I was hoping that I could see it, your comments, but I can't, okay? So it's all right. I don't know what happened differently. Um, maybe if I hit the refresh button. I would like to see your comments as I go. But just radio silence. That's never good, is it? I'm just looking to see what happens if I can see. Yeah, it's really slow. I'm so glad that this is working because Gerard went to great lengths to make sure that the internet was better in his house than what it was because he the internet is actually worse here in this part of Holland than it is in Canada and I know as Canadians we really complain okay so I think we're gonna do my very favorite card first which is the airplane one okay so let's find the airplane one in the instruction book there so you can see that there's a tiny little layer of a pretty gold there. So let's get the card out. Here we go. I'm going to put these away beside me on the floor. So if I forget, you can help me. All right. So now we need to take this off. There. And I don't know if it's too long, but this is going to go right along the bottom. No, it's perfect length. So you just kind of want to ease it to make sure. It's, I find it tricky because I'm holding on to it with my hand and I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, so start on the one end. You don't want to have a gap in between the black and the, the gold. And it's just these nice little details. This would, oops, see, and let's say, see, I got a little bit of a gap there. So I'm just going to carefully, let me see if I have my pokey tool. My pokey tool is not handy. I'm being a perfectionist now, which is not a, necessarily a good thing. 
card making. See, I'm just peeling it off a little bit. It's very forgiving. So this is a great kit to do if you've got kids stuck at home. And then they can, oh, well, it's still not perfect. You know what? It's not a big deal. It doesn't have to be perfect. See, there's a tiny little white gap there. I might fix it later, but for now, I'm going to leave it. So what the card suggests that you do is that you take this die cut here and that you pop it up above the, and I haven't done that before because I've always used it on a different card because I really, I'll, sh I'll share a blog post that I made with these cards. So I'm going to do it, but I kind of like it just like this, and I would rather just use this on a different card or on the inside of the card. So what we're going to do is I'm not going to use this die cut, because look how nice it looks even on this background paper. I don't want to waste it. I like this just like that, but if you like the idea of having that shadow in behind, or maybe you could even do two planes flying, but I, I like it the way it is. And I thought I could convince myself to do it differently and just use that other that die cut, I'm not going to do it. Stubborn, I'm going to use that plane for something else. Okay, so what we need to do is we need our little label. And we're going to use this one here. And I'm going to leave them in this sheet. I'm going to see if it's too big for my stamp apparatus. One second. All right, so here's my stamp apparatus. It needs a good wash. Oops. Let's have a look. Now, yes, if I put it in my Stamparatus like this, there, and then the hinge on here, move all my other stuff out of the way. And then this one was supposed to be a congratulations card, I believe. I hear congratulations are in order. So this could be for birthday. It could be for, so you can kind of see right through this. So you want to lay it on there where you want it to go. The thing with a brand new stamp is that a brand new photopolymer stamp, it is going to be a little bit sticky. So fold that down. And, and then I kind of like to have a look at it to make sure that it's straight and it's not perfectly straight. There, I think that's better. Okay and then put a um, stamp case underneath, like so. That stamp case has my chamois in it, just so you know. And here we go. So I've got my Bermuda Bay ink. Tap, tap, tap. And the nice thing is, is that if it's not perfect, I could do it again. So there we go. Give it a nice press. And then let's have a look. See, and it's not perfect because sometimes with a photopolymer stamp, when you ink it up the first time, it can be a little bit mottled. And so, because that photopolymer is still new, and maybe I should have wiped it with my chamois first, but yeah, it's hard to remember all those things when you're excited. There. Okay, that looks a lot better. So, for me, I really like to do use my stamp apparatus so I can stamp a couple of times. So let's just move that out of the way. And... Now, I don't know what I did with my instruction sheet. Oh, there it is. It's just hiding under my stickers. So this just gets popped up right here. And I don't want to cover the wheels of my plane. So we're just going to, and I have, you know what, I'm not going to start on my brand new dimensionals either because I still have some left over right here. So just two, two will do, actually. Let's feel it. If it's really flimsy, okay, we'll do a third. The, um... These die cuts aren't quite as heavy as the card base. So, and let me just see. You know what? Oh, this is really funny. Um, my live video still has the, um, the, the, the saying for last week. It wouldn't let me edit it. So it says something about a hydrangea hill. Well, you'll quickly find out that this is, has nothing to do with hydrangea hill. So yeah, keeping the chamois in a stamp case is a great idea. Hi, Pat. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Mary Ellen. I can see your comments now. This is awesome. Okay. It just took me a while for my um, laptop to catch up. So this just straddles the, um, the black and white stripe and that gold piece. Okay. And so then if you wanted to, you could, if you want it to be extravagant, you could definitely put the airplane in the inside as well. See how nice that is? But I'm still going to save it, I think, for, it'll be great on a scrapbook page. Um, 
but I'm going to save it for another card. I just am, for now. Unless I run out of time, then I'll say, oh, you know what, we'll make these cards super pretty. Okay, so maybe I'll leave it in there. So that's card number one. So that's what I mean is that with this card set, you get a real a bonus because you can use these die cuts, these beautiful die cuts for more cards. Okay, so let's do the get well card next. Okay, so here we go. And let's find the instruction sheet. Oops. I forgot that there are also, a, there's also a whole sheet of blue dots in here. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let's find. On the back page is the Get Well so Soon one. So what we need now is one of these. And I think it's this one. So you just kind of bend it a little bit and slowly take it out. And there's a little piece in here that doesn't need to be there. Okay. And I think this is the right one. Yep. So that is going to be, let's move that plane out of the way. I'm just going to make sure you guys can actually see what I'm doing. You want that to go like so. And I didn't quite center it. See how forgiving this is? I didn't center it, so I picked it up a little bit. And I kind of like that, just like that. Okay. And then we're going to grab the Stamparatus again. And this time, we need the circle. So I'm going to move my magnet, take off the little... I should have cleaned this, but I'm, I'm not going to. And I'm going to turn this around like... That's not going to work, but it's going to go this way. And I've, I've lost my other two, so I'm just going to move them out of the way. And now I'm going to put it in this middle circle, okay? And this one's going to say, um, feel better soon, okay? So the first card I make the way I'm supposed to, and after that, I should maybe do thanks so much because I like to send thank you cards to my people. And I'm pretty excited because my new brand new tutorial group is live and it's a it's about the fresh uh, the sweet strawberry and we have people from all over the world and a lot of them are former artisan design team members these people are talented I am honored to be in a group as skilled as this so yeah and it coincides I purposely kind of purposely um, did my June coffee and a card also with sweet strawberry. So if you get the June virtual coffee and a card and you order the sweet strawberry bundle, then you can get the tutorial, the international tutorial for free, which is a $25 value. So I just thought I'd pop that in there. I'm also excited. And the other thing is you can double dip. Anybody who places a $40 online order with me can join in on the bingo for free. So there's still a few spots left in the bingo. So if you want to join in on bingo and have a chance to win a wonderful prize, then see again how that's a bit modeled. So I'm going to, let me zoom it in a little bit and then you guys can see what I mean when I say that it's modeled. Take a look. See how the letters are kind of not solid? They look a little bit watercolory, almost like a, a, a sponge. Okay. So we're just going to ink it up again. Tap, tap, tap. So if you don't have a Stamparatus yet, you could order a Stamparatus and then join in on the free bingo. And you'd get the free strawberry tutorial. Now, that moved a little bit. But I still, I, I'm not too upset with that. But we're going to make another one because I'm not loving it either. I think it moved just a little bit and I didn't straighten it. Okay, so we're going to punch this one out and put it here. And I'm even going to put the magnet on it just a little bit. So let's see if I do better this time. The Stamparatus is not like 110%. It's only as good as the operator. So if your paper moves a little bit and you didn't catch it because you're too busy talking like me, then the next time you stamp, it's going to leave, like it's not going to be perfect. So I'm hoping that it, well, no, I didn't want to move that. I'm just hoping it didn't move. And if it is bad again, well... It's, then it's that kind of day. Let's see. No, I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, that one's perfect. Okay, we'll use this one. We'll pretend the first one didn't happen. So, we'll move the Stamparatus. And this now just gets 
popped up. And you see, you just see the, the foliage sticking out and you don't see the circle. So it's really kind of nice. Da, 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 da. Now on this one, I'm going to do four dimensionals. When they give you two full sheets, you can afford to be extravagant, right? And I, I think they do. I remember having extra of these gold things to do other cards with. So, let's see. There you go. So there's the next card. So you know what? This is the kind of card making that you can do with friends who ne don't necessarily make cards, but it's so much fun to... Um, to do something fun together. And my suggestion for COVID, if you're in lockdown, then you can buy the kit and you can either pre-stamp for your friends and divide it up so that like there's three of each card. So you can do it with three friends and you can just have a little Zoom gathering or you can do a Facebook video chat because you can do that with a group as well. And then you can have some fun, pour yourself a glass of wine and make sure you don't knock it over and make cards together. That'll be fun. Okay, the next one is going to be, that's it's gonna be a surprise. It's gonna be the cityscape one. Okay, so here we are. And now I'm gonna find my instructions. Oh, here we go. So the cityscape one also has a gold piece and it has some trees. Okay, so Let's do the gold piece first, and it is this one here with that diamondy piece in it. So you just kind of bend it a little and then gently pick it off. See there, so that went just fine. And you have to make sure it goes so there. And then we need our Stamparatus again. And we need the one that is in the corner here. Oh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Oh, yeah, this will work. Okay, so we're going to do it right on here. And it says, thanks so much. So here we go. One, if you guys order for me, you might get this card in the mail. And maybe I'll do the rest of the cards all as thanks so much, because I need lots of thank you cards. There. It's sticking to my finger. Oh, there. Well, you know what? I think that's good. Peel that one off. And there, a little bit of press. There we go. Make sure that's nice and tight in the corner. And we will, oh, you know what? I have to check because it was sticking to my finger a little bit. It's a little bit crooked on here. There's grid lines on your stamp apparatus that help you make sure that your stamp is on there straight. When you can't trust your eyes, because sometimes, I don't know about your eyes, but my eyes are crooked sometimes. I think it's straight and it's not, especially if you're not sitting straight above it, it's hard to tell. So, I really do like the font of this stamp. I could have went a little bit lower, but that's okay. So I've had some questions from people as to like what are the restrictions here in Holland and the restrictions here in Holland are still quite drastic for them. Um, I can get my hair cut so that's nice. Restaurants you cannot eat inside and as far as having people over um, you can have two guests in your home. Okay so I was able to visit my cousins and my uncle was there but my uncle is part of their household. So that worked. And then even inside, I didn't take pictures of us sitting inside, but we were sitting, like Gerard and I were sitting across from each other. And for the rest of us, we were all sitting a meter and a half apart. That's, uh, those are the rules here. Um, yeah, and face masks are required in, inside. So basically like us. And as far as their, um, the vaccine, they're about this, they're keeping pace with Canada. So, yeah. Let's see. The way things are here and they apparently they're going to open up travel within the EU the European Union um, for people who have had their vaccine so they are making travel easier 
for people if they've been vaccinated. So now I'm going back to my little die cut thing and I've got two trees that I can just pop up and add to my um, card just to, you know, I can't even tell from the, like the instructions here where those, where those trees might be. So I, I don't even think I, I don't think, because I don't see them on there at all. You can see how the trees have a little bit of a, a white background on them? So, yeah. Well, we'll put them on and we'll see. I'm going to add them on with a dimensional just to pop them up and see. Um, and maybe you could just put them in the inside of your card. I kind of like that idea too, to dress up the inside of your card. But we'll put them here. There's one. And that does look nice too. Sure it does. And two. There. Nice, eh? It's, I, I like the card because I think it's very different than what Stampin' Up! usually offers. And I think it's... So for me, a kit means instant gratification that I get to make cards quickly and simply without having to think about it too much. And I can send them away. I can do it extra. I can make someone's day without having to stress about it. And then the bonus is that afterwards I have a block that I can keep and I have a stamp set that I can keep and I have an ink pad. So I could either keep those or I can give them away and put them in a kits for kids um, because I've already had the use of them. So And I have the, the, the consumables, like the dimensionals, which are really nice. Okay, next card. We've got two cards left. Let's see. Oh, yeah, the hot air balloon card. I'm going to just grab them both so I don't forget. And let's see. There's another one. And the palm tree card. Okay, there we go. Now, I need to find my instructions. Oh, it's right here. So this is a happy birthday card, and it has this cute little chain link thing there. And see how nice it all popped out and all those little dots are left behind? I didn't have to do any fussy poking. I'm telling you, this is the kind of thing you want to do um, when you don't need any more stress in your life. Because you don't need any more of that. That one went on perfectly. Okay, now the Stamparatus. I'm getting in the groove of this. So I had asked um, earlier today, just a minute, if you guys would be interested in doing a monthly kit class. Or it doesn't have to be a class. I mean, yeah, I love doing live videos with you. But the purpose, of course, is for me to be able to make a living. I need to pay for these plane tickets back and forth. Um... So I'm hoping that you order for me. So I'm just putting that out there. All right, so that is going to go on this banner with the yellow. And I'm going to use the happy birthday stamp if I can find it. The, it's my, my, my desk is getting messy. Okay, so that means that I have now officially lost my stamp set, people. This is not good. I have thank you. I have all the stamps that I've used so far. They're sitting on my on my phone base, but I don't know what I did with my. Let's see. All right. You know what? It's just a matter of moving everything, and then maybe I'll find my. Oh, there it is. It's it was underneath the sticker sheet. Okay. okay happy birthday. There we go. And I haven't stamped any birds yet. And I don't know if I was supposed to. So I'm putting the happy birthday like that. That looks about right. We'll close it up. I was talking so much that I now forget what I was saying. That's scary. All right, I'm just eyeing it up on my Stamparatus and it actually looks good. The first time was, was good. So now I'm going to just tuck this tightly in the corner and then we'll ink up our happy birthday. Yeah, oh yeah, that's what I was saying. That. I was considering doing a monthly kit. So then you'll get a Zoom invitation and I will, or maybe I'll just do it like this, you know, that it's live. And if you have the kit, you can, you can get it. And if you don't have the kit, then maybe I will inspire you and you'll go, oh, you know what? That's a nice kit. I think I'll get it. It really depends on what you want. If you want, like some people in my bingo, 
Um, I don't know if I mentioned that I have spots left in my bingo. My bingo is usually um, I include a stamp set and then, uh, then you have to pay a fee. But this time, because I was going to be in Holland, I am not including the stamp set. You're getting all the things that you need and you just have to place a $40 order with me online and you can get whatever you want. Now I suggest to get the memories and more envelopes because those are the base for your cards and they're not included. You get all the layers but not the base. Um, so get the memories and more assorted cards and envelopes and then get whatever you want and then you get a free bingo and the prizes are going to be amazing. So I hope you can join me for that. I have room for 20 people. So here's the card again and then we're going to pop this up right along the edge and it's sad. You, you, you you cover up half of that. So if you wanted to, you could cut this little chain link thing in half and use the half somewhere else. You could put one top and bottom. Well, no, that wouldn't work because it would only be a half. Well, whatever. Okay. I'm starting to sound like a teenager with attitude. Okay, so I'm going to put four dimensionals on here because we are living large because we've got so many in our kit. There. And, oh, 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 oh. Almost forgot something. So here is another case where you have these die cuts, see? And it's again a case where you know I'm not going to do it because I don't see the point. I, I really don't see the point in putting these up like that. I like it better like this. So I'm going to use these either inside, that's kind of cute, right? In the inside of the card. That's nice. Yeah. It's kind of nice when the inside of the card is as nice as the outside of the card. So that's what I would do. And we're not going to pop them on the front. And maybe, yeah. Hmm. I'm trying to see from the picture what they did with the die cuts. And maybe the die cuts were meant to be in the inside of the card all along. But they don't show the inside. And I'm just going to find out what it says because now I'm curious as to what they intended with those die cuts. Um, oh, it says to see a video about this get this kit and other Stampin' Up! kits, visit youtube.com slash Stampin' Up! So you could do that as well. Um, I am not seeing... Let's see. You can layer the printed die cut images over the identical images on the cards for a 3D effect. You can. So that's, that is what they intended, but I think it's nicer to use them in the inside of the card. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to do this one flat, and then I'm going to pop the other one up. And then I will check out the link to my blog post where I'm going to do them up here. And then we'll pop that one up. That's fun. Yeah. These are great for um, scrapbooks, too. I don't know if anybody scrapbooks anymore. I have great, I had great joy scrapbooking. I love it. I don't regret a second of scrapbooking. My kids, my grandkids now look at the scrapbooks from their parents. There. How cute is that? Beautiful cards, aren't they? Honestly, this is a fantastic kit. The last card is going to be this one here. And it is the palm tree one. Oh, look at that. Shoot. There's a third, there's a third um, hot air balloon. Oh my goodness. Look. We've got a whole plethora of balloons. Wow. Wow. Okay. Let's finish that one up first. I feel like I'm being so indulgent with these cards. They're so over the top. Could write a little story with this. Okay, so there's that one. And now, oh, and I forgot, look, there's raindrops that I could have popped up on the Get Well card. Didn't do that either. All right, here are the palm trees. One and two. And I'll do the raindrops later. Okay, and the instruction sheet, oh, fell on the floor. Excuse me. So here we have, there's another one that's thankful. It says, can I? I am very thankful for you. And I am very thankful for you. Okay. And that one is going there on, let's get 
the Stamparatus. It's going on the last die cut that we have, which is this one here, which has a cute little border in Pool Party. Beautiful colors on this, uh, this kit as well. There we go. And so tomorrow I'm getting my hair cut. I'm so excited because it's been nine months or more. And I, I go to a curly hairdresser usually. And in, in Canada, my curly hairdresser is in London. And honestly, the last time I got my hair cut was in Holland with this curly hairdresser. So it's kind of neat. And Gerard's getting, he's good, he has an appointment too. I got so lucky, I called and the lady said to me, you know what, I just had a cancellation because when I told Gerard I wanted to get my hair cut, he said, well, you might have to wait like for two weeks because I don't think they've been open that long either. And um, although he did say that they were considered an essential business there. Isn't that nice? I'm so very thankful for you. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And I think, you know what, hairdressing is an essential business. I mean, if you think about how we were looking, everybody with their shaggy hair, Especially people with short hair. I felt sorry for them because short hair is not as forgiving. Okay, so we need to put this cute little, I call it a chain link fence, but that's not really what it is. It's this little diagonal thing. And it's going right across here. There. I have to say... I'm pretty proud of myself for sticking it out. I'm not a patient person, so for me to do... Oh, look, it kind of goes up at the end. <laughs> I'm not a patient person, so for me to stick through and do all five cards is remarkable, if I say so myself. So now we are going to pop up this. And again, I don't see the need to put these cards, these these trees on the front. Like, they kind of go, like, popping up. But it is kind of... Well, maybe that is kind of cute. Maybe I will. And what about this one? It goes in behind here, I think. Oops, see? But on the on the cards that they show us, they they didn't do that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave them and I'm gonna put them in the inside of the card. And then this gets popped up like that. Alright, a couple dimensionals. And our dimensionals do, you can just cut them with scissors if you're, like, this is a corner piece. And there. Let's have a look. And I will prom I promise that I will um, answer your comments afterwards, okay? So there we go. And then in the inside, we'll do the tree. See, and you could even one tree, two trees. These trees are definitely kind of bending in the wind, aren't they? Okay, so I do have, I did grab my silicone mat because that silicone mat adhesive doesn't stick to it, like it won't make a mess. So if your adhesive goes off the edge a little bit, see, and like when I do this, then it's not going to be a mess on my paper. So silicone mat is really nice. Silicone mat also works great with hot glue and liquid glue. You can just peel it off later or you can wash it under the tap and it's just wonderful. There. It's also great if you accidentally put adhesive on the wrong part of your card and you need to finish your card. There. So that's the inside, there's the outside and I just want to find that get well one. Let's see and there's just a few raindrops so i'm just going to do this one see so i used a whole sheet of die cuts and that's it and i've so there's a sheet for every three for every but set of cards so i'm not sure if um you know what I'm going to use my glue dots. I could use the glue dots that came with it, but these are easier to use. So, I this is the case where, you know, I'm just going to grab I'm just going to grab my pokey tool. Okay. 
So what I'm doing is the raindrops are kind of small, so I'm just rolling up my glue dot so that it's smaller. Okay, so now it's folded up, and I'm going to just flip this over. I, You know, I keep forgetting to take my my um, the other tool, the pick-me-up tool that we have. It has the, the side that has um, that little bit of sticky stuff, and it's great for picking things up. So now I want to do it right on here. Let's get another glue dot, roll it up a little bit, just punch it up there, and then it doesn't stick out. And there. That's kind of nice. I kind of like that. And I don't need them all. So I'm going to flip to here. There. Here I am. So I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing the, the cards and how this kit works and whether or not is it, it is of good value to you or not. I think it makes a great um, a great kit. I think it's a great kit to make do with your friends. Um, it makes a wonderful gift. And uh, yeah, they're just beautiful cards. So it is time for me to go and have a glass of wine with Gerard. I did this video tonight because he had to go and spray the amaryllis leaves um, for woolly aphids or thrips, one or the other two. One, those are both a, a danger. So if those little beasties start eating at the leaves and at the bulb, then the flowers won't be as nice. And also the leaves won't be as nice. And um, yeah, and the leaves is what gives food to the flowers. So that's how it goes. I learned so much. All right, guys, thank you for joining me. I had fun with you tonight, and I hope that you have a super day. Bye.